Welcome friends. Uh, so far we saw that we have added two users. One is kprepare and one is kuser2 which can contribute to our single repository that is known as git concepts on bitbucket and github. Now uh, we know that we have two directories checked out git concepts and git concepts user2. So this is the directory meant for user kprepare and this is the directory meant for the second user as I have uh, appended user2 into this and we also saw that what settings we did in git extensions to achieve this. We uh, changed the user uh, config of git uh, to, uh, for this user with this email to work under this directory. So whatever changes we made in this directory and commit and push will be done by kuser2 and whatever change we do under this directory and push will be done by kprepare user. So now we want to understand what is fetch and what is pull. So we saw that in the last video we uh, changed this file if we go to the diff tab there is a diff tab which we can use to see that what we did under a particular commit so we changed this file readme.md what we did we added this line into this file now this repository is open for user 2. If we want to see the repository how it will look to the previous user that we were using. I will just say Control W to go to the main menu and open the previous repository which is for user 1. So here this user is currently not knowing that another user has changed this repository because on the web it is possible to see that another commit was there but on your local git repository if you are the only user it is not visible to you that other users have made changes and what are the changes those have been done what you will do to know those changes or what you will do to know is there any change that others are doing apart from me you will use this option fetch if you click on fetch the command git executes is git fetch minus minus progress github so github here we can relate that git underscore hub is one of the remote it means it is fetching the changes those are on github repository so what we did, we clicked here and selected fetch. What it will do, let's see. It is now fetching the changes that are, those are done by another user, but it is keeping your local pointer. The red one is your local. You always remember that red one is your local pointer. So it has kept your local pointer to the changes that were made by you and it is showing you here it is grayed out it is not yet reflected in your local it is showing you that there is another change that is done by k user 2 and you can view the change uh, by clicking on the commit and here but now the your local pointer is on master and you want to receive this change on your local file also if you go to the file tree and want to view the readme.md your local file is not having the changes you want to have this change that is made by another user yeah. second thing is if you see github master is one commit above that github has been fetched and it knows that on github repository there is a new commit which is done by kuser2 but if you want to also update the bit bucket, what you can do is fetch all. So now you see that it is fetching all the repositories, all the remotes. So it is fetching GitHub and then it is fetching bit bucket. 
So now if we see, now GitHub master and Bitbucket master on the web, on the same uh, uh, change commit, and our local commit of the master is one commit behind. So how to keep our local file up to the date with the change, those are present in the repository irrespective of who has done this change. What we can do? We can do pull merge. What it will do? It will pull the changes. Pull means pull is an operation which says that whatever change is there by other users on the branch that I am working on merge those changes into our local file system and modify my local file so that my local files are in synchronization with the changes made by other users. So if we say OK, now we see that our master is also pointing to the master of GitHub and master of Bitbucket. So now our local file, if we see here, is having the change which was made by the user k user 2 there are other options as you might have seen pull merge pull rebase and one more option fetch and prune all we will discuss all these options and we will also discuss what is more advanced options if we want to use pull and merge how it will behave and how it how we want it to behave and with different remotes we will discuss everything in later videos until then happy getting if you like the video please like and subscribe bye bye